Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Show, and I've got my friend Brian, and guess what? I don't know what his last name is, but he does have a first name. Brian, you there? Yes, I'm here. Doc Brian, Dr. Brian. Do you have a last name, or you just go with Dr. Brian? Uh, Smith is my last name, but most people in the office call me Dr. Brian. Might yeah. as well. Smith is kind of vague, isn't it? <laughs> it is, so that's why I go by Dr. Brian. Dr. Smith just doesn't sound right. <laughs> I get it. Well, cool. So how are you married and got kids and all that stuff? Are you still yeah, single? Yeah, we just celebrated 21 um, two days ago. What? 21 years? 21 years. And uh, I've got a 20-year-old. Get out of here. You look like you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of all the health and wellness things I do. There you go. <laughs> I, don't, I believe that. You said you had a 21-year-old? Uh, 20. I, I've been married for 21 years and have a 20-year-old. Okay. So basically out of the, out of the nest? Yeah, he's uh, going to school in Madison, and uh, he's just home for two weeks here because uh, summer school, that little break in between summer school and uh, when uh, fall starts back up. So, yeah. Are you following in your footsteps? Are you going to school for? No, he's in the school of business. He wants to do That's a good place to be. something within business and real estate, finance. I'm not sure quite yet, but we'll find out. Well, I like, I like the business thing. I mean, uh, there's some people that just want to have that job, but the thing I don't like about a job is you're stuck and you've only got so many hours in the day you can work and you've only got so much money you can make because your boss can only pay you so much. So I like to be self-employed. So I think that's a good move going into some kind of business. I agree. Going to anything he wants. Yep. So you're a local. Where do, where do you live? Are you local here in the Twin Cities? Yeah, I live in Minneapolis. My, I have a practice called Able Chiropractic in uh, Apple Valley, Minnesota. Okay. I, rem I remember that now from the expo. I remember that because I did a lot of the data entry and stuff. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I remember that. That's a good name for her. Is, is that just is Abel? Is that the name? A B L L E? A B L E. It's an acronym, acronym a better life experience. It's all about being better tomorrow. You know, 1% better is what That's I talk about. It's a good about. acronym. I like that. Yeah. And it starts with A B. So it puts you right at the top of the list, you know? So. <laughs> Back in the days when we had a phone book. I knew, uh, I, I told you earlier, I was a magician. So there was this a booking agency and uh, they called themselves AAA Aardvark Entertainment. <laughs> That's perfect, right? <laughs> Whatever, right? Anyways, so how, how long you been chiropracking, they call it? <laughs> uh, since 2004. So 16, 17 years here. Okay, and cool. Prior to that, I was a massage therapist. So I've been doing hands-on healing work for 26 years now. Well, I'm definitely an advocate of the natural healing and preventative, if you want to call it medicine, as opposed to going under the knife and taking drugs. Even yeah. uh, I got a martial arts background. So when you pull a muscle, sometimes people put that Ben Gay stuff on their knee or whatever. And I kind of don't like that because it doesn't that like camouflage the pain and your body should... Uh, know when it's having pain so it can be careful. yeah yeah I'm not, I'm not a big advocate for um definitely for NSAIDs you know different pharmaceuticals even if they're over the counter um sometimes they're necessary but uh I like uh, I, I really like to help people get out of pain and, and promote the idea and the concept that's really been forgotten that the best doctor that ever lived is inside of you and your body's designed to heal that's our natural state it's to heal and um, when we treat it right, it will heal. Yeah, and I think also as far as food and diet and things go, I think you kind of know what you should have. And you just got to kind of be have some discernment with all that, that maybe I shouldn't just be eating all that apple pie constantly or pizzas all the time. You should once in a while, sure. But just got to, I, I even quit drinking soda and it was kind of hard at first because I kind of like that sugar and bubbles and then I just decided to give it up. I just don't drink it at all and I don't miss it at all once you get past that craving. You know? Yep. Now, a lot of people struggle with that and uh, that, that's one of the things that I help them you know, do and help them realize. And uh, a lot of times when they, when, they, you know, when they do it, when they stop drinking soda or, or make a tra some kind of transformation in their life, and uh, they notice the results, then it's easier. Then they go, oh, I can stick with this because I'm, I'm seeing some results, I'm feeling better. And uh, that's where you really gotta hone in. You gotta start, start small and, and look for transformation, look for results.
Yeah, my wife just downloaded, or not just, but a while back, did that Noom app. So where you track yeah, yeah. the calories that go in and you count the steps and it's really, really helped. In fact, by proxy, I've lost weight because we're eating different. Yep. <laughs> Even just portions, you know, and I'm amazed at um, how she's been able to, like, instead of having two cookies, you just have one. She's been able to do that. And that's, I think, I think it's because of that ability to track that and, and like I said, see the results. Yes. Yeah. Simple changes. I like that. Now, before we got on here, you were talking about um, you've got some techniques that people can do to, to, to maintain their health. And what popped into my head is like, like I mentioned, I got a martial arts background and usually in martial arts, people's knees go out because they're kicking and everything all the time. Yep. And they don't, uh, when you get older, you kind of quit exercising. I've got yeah. a little technique that I've done is I, I shave inside the shower. So I took a mirror that I shave with and I moved it down to about chest level. So I have to do a squat every morning when I shave. Ah. It keeps my knees strong. Yeah, it's I not a you. long squat, but it's, uh, it helps. Well, I'm, I'm gonna steal that one from you. <laughs> Why not? It helps somebody else spread sure. it, tell the world. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of little things that a person can do that. Like um, a while back, I used to do a, a Wellness Wednesday video interview thing like this, and we would talk about chiropractic and how people in the winter because they're shoveling the driveway and everything they end up having back injuries yep. so a preventative simple preventative way would be to like just stretch a little bit before you go out to shovel right absolutely warm up sometimes people don't even think about that but no they think that they're fine they can do it you know so and and that kind of thing i think it's like my wife goes to chiropractic a lot and that when you do that, when you're going to somewhere, I'm an advocate of having someone else other than yourself talk, because you can read a book and you can learn all this stuff that you're supposed to do, like warm up and do all this. But having somebody else that's outside saying, when you're warming up, are you doing this or are you doing that? Someone that's outside can kind of see what's yep. going on and give you some input. I think that's always an important thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, you had mentioned earlier before we got on that you've got a book that's coming out. Yeah, I just is that, released is that, book. Is it in print now? Yeah, it's it's on Amazon. It's it was published in Amazon the end of uh, June, but we are having a launch date actually tomorrow and Thursday, the 29th and 30th of July. Yes, really okay, excited. So is that like wrapping up the the July? That's kind of like the end of it. Let's see. Um, well, that's just the launch date that we're, we're trying to make a, a ripple on uh, Amazon to get some okay. awareness and get the word out there to, uh, to start this. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it's going to be an ongoing thing. It'll be on sale, you know, there. About a year ago, I, I, I always say, you know, be careful what you wish for because it'll happen. <laughs> and a year ago, I wanted to put together a manual that I could give to my patients that would give them really good solid ideas while they're getting care. Here's all the different things that you could do at home. And, and um, you know, we, you got to customize them. You got to find what works for the individual. Mm -hmm. And so I have three categories that I, I, I keep it really simple every day, find ways that you can move better, think better and fuel better. And in those three categories, then, you know, I've listed in the book, literally hundreds of different uh, ways that they can do that. And, and some of the benefits of what they might see and why they might want to uh, look into it, um, whatever it might be, you know, like for um, fueling better, it, one of the ideas is, is drinking herbal tea. I was going to say, you didn't say feel better, you said fuel better. Yes, yeah, yeah. Just input, so, input, okay. Yep, move better. And I didn't say exercise, I said move. I right. said fuel better, I didn't say eat better, I said fuel better, find ways that you know, fuel your body because when you really look at what your body needs, it needs energy and it needs nutrients. Those are the two things that it does. And those, those two things give it energy for healing and for life and for movement. And then all the cofactors are the things that supply uh, the cells with what they need to function. So a lot of times when people say, well, you got to eat better, you know, th it just becomes this great big thing of what does that mean? And there's, there's different diets out there concepts, paleo, keto, the caveman diet, all these different things. And some things work for some people and other things work for other people. And 
the, the reason they work is because you got to find what fuels your body. Right. And uh, yeah. So, so kind of like some people, like I'm not really affected much by caffeine and coffee, whereas other people, you can't drink coffee at night because you'd be up all night. Yep. It doesn't affect me as much. And I'm assuming it'd be the same thing for any other kind of nutrient. Some people, uh, it affects some others, it doesn't. So they, yep. yeah, we're all, in, we're all unique individuals. That's true. Yep. So is your, did you, did you say your book is available on that, uh, that Kindle too, or is it just a hardcover? Kind of yeah, book. you can get it on. You can get it on Kindle. So tomorrow and um, and Thursday, the 29th and the 30th of July, it's going to be an ebook form, and we've got a, a special deal on it. Uh, ordinarily, the ebook is going to be 7.99, but for those two special days, um, it's going to be 99 cents. So, okay. yeah, and then there uh, the people that buy it, uh, they're going to be entered into a, uh, a drawing, and we've got a couple prizes two Amazon gift cards and two uh, gift cards for the office for Able products. I have a whole line of different products that help people get out of pain and move towards healthy, uh, healthier weight and, and be the best version of themselves. So, yeah. So for just 99 cents, they could be more healthy and possibly win money so they could actually profit from this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Now in the book, I mean, I, I think I, I have to admit it was well, well written. And, and it's laid out that anyone could grab it, whether they're a beginner and they don't know anything about uh, a healthy lifestyle, to someone who's really advanced and they could get a couple uh, gems in there and go, wow, I'm gonna apply that to my life. So I'm excited so for it. When you say that, you mean it's like less technical language and more just- uh... Yeah, it's, it's more application. It's more application and uh, like one of the things that I've been doing in my office for quite some time is I've been using photonic therapy or photobiomodulation, which is light therapy. I use a, a laser, a high powered laser. I also use um, different uh, full body photonic light therapies or different places that we can apply photonic therapy into the body. And I would probably guess that about nine out of 10 people don't really know what, what that is, but um, it's very well researched. Um, for the last 45 years, they've proven that certain frequencies can penetrate into the body and your body turns it into actual energy by stimulating a, a part of the cell that's called the mitochondria. It stimulates it to produce ATP. And I commonly just use the, the analogy of uh, like plants. Plants can take sunshine yeah. and through photosynthesis literally turn it into plant energy we can do the same thing with our bodies and um, it's amazing. It's, it's incredible. So it's just right. You finding the right frequency and the right application for you. Well, it makes total sense. I mean, when you think about it, that the sun's putting off energy and it's light in and of itself and the whole concept of, uh, of you know, light, it's the speed of light. It's supposed to be like almost instantaneous. And uh, so a lot of that stuff just makes sense to me. Like with, um, like some people talk about, this is sort of off topic, but the whole concept of the full moon and yeah. some people say, well, that doesn't do nothing to you. That's just a, you know, it's a superstition or whatever, but it makes sense to me if the full moon can do something to the tide of the ocean, yeah. you think it would do something to your body seeing your body's full of water. It would do something. Yeah. I don't know what medically it is, but it just makes sense to me. So I would think yeah. that light similarly, because light is a, is a big thing. You got to have it. <laughs> yeah well anyway yeah I'm, I'm super excited about the book so is there anything else that you are offering people like do you have like uh i know that the, with this whole covid thing it's really different for like people to come actually come into the chiropractic you know your office and things do you do anything online like uh tips or things like that that people might be able to tune yes. into yep yeah i am um starting a, an online platform where I'm going to help people uh, I get the same results that I've been doing in my office. Really, my focus is helping guys 50 plus get out of pain, get to a healthy weight, and really have the vitality and energy to, uh, to, to do the things that they want to do and to have the adventure life that they want. You know, most, most guys that, uh, you know, are, are 50 plus, you know, they'll make excuses why they're not going to the gym or, or playing hockey or water skiing or doing the things that they want to do, playing pickleball maybe. Um, so I just, I, I give them some, uh, 
some really good tools to, to get back to doing those things. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. So you'd mentioned that before, and that's, uh, that's what I'm going through. I'm 63 and I want to get back into shape. I'm in pretty good shape, but I want to get back in. So I've been working out and uh, my martial arts school is way up in Blaine. So it's almost a 45 minute drive from Minnetonka over here to drive over there. Yep. And I just decided, you know what, it's a drive and I'm just going to listen to the radio or turn it off and just get, do some mind work on the way there. Sure. <laughs> just kind of make it ritualistic. And if you can, yeah. in my opinion, if you can make stuff like that, that's sort of uh, like a habit, it's so much easier to do things. Like when I take the dog out, I always, we're, we're in an apartment on the third floor. So you go down the stairs, go back up the stairs instead of the elevator. You just got to try and make that that routine instead of going to the elevator and pushing a button take the stairs strengthen the knees up get a little bit of cardio going it's a matter yep. of discipline and just being able to create that habit and yep <laughs> i agree well brian i don't like to do these too long because uh you know people have that commodity of time i always talk about that time there's only 24 hours in a day so i'm going to beam this up and propagate it out to the universe and if you could help awesome. share it out to the world that's what makes the world go around these days is, is likes comments and shares is there anything else you want to add before we sign off gosh um well just to, if there's anyone that is in pain and not happy with their current lifestyle i'd sure like the opportunity to talk to them or share the book with them so that um they could learn some of these things like i said I really I feel strongly that anyone that reads the book uh, is going to gain some gems that, that can transform their life. Well, yeah. I agree. I think it's uh, stuff like that, especially if you've got it written in like, uh, you know, it's not using a bunch of medical terms and stuff, like I said. Yeah, I tried to stay away from that, you know, the, the in-depth conversation. And, and it, it is a workbook where you can write down, you know, some of the goals that you want and then you can pick from a couple of different categories of some of the things that you know you could commit to, and then you just do them. You, you commit to three days or maybe 30 days or maybe three months. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, you know, if it's not documented, the results aren't there. So I always encourage people document your results. It's pain is easy to, to, you know, document and weight is, but what about sleep and energy and your mood and a lot of different things. And you can doc, you can you know, just like three times a day, check in. How am I feeling? Am I happy or am I depressed? Am I anxious or am I full of energy and, and really um, engaged in my conversations and enjoying life? And uh, That makes more a lot of sense because then you can kind of look back on that and find out that why is it that I got low energy every Wednesday? What's going on there? And then you can find out what is it that's relevant can. to it and go, oh, maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, there's an answer. If you, if you document it, there's most likely an answer. Well, perfect, Brian. I'm going to shut this one down and shoot it up there. If you want to stay on, we'll have a chat after. Other than that, I'm going to close it off and appreciate you taking the time today to be on the Magic Brad Show. Thank you so much. Peace.